At the time, it was called Project Skyscraper, which is a really exciting name, I think. And they sent us some screenshots, and I think Sean sent us this really sort of expressive email about how the game would work. And we just thought, well, this sounds incredible, and it also sounds like exactly the sort of project that we're looking for. That first meeting with Sean, we, we spoke a lot about those kind of 80s sci-fi book cover aesthetic, the, the sort of vivid colours, and how a lot of modern sci-fi, it's all kind of grayscale and super bleak and desaturated seriousness. And they were going for something more vivid and, and perhaps more hopeful, but also kind of scary at the same time. No Man's Sky is a fairly unique game. It's out there doing something that hasn't been done before. And I don't know if I can claim that we're a unique band, but we're certainly trying to be. So I think hopefully he heard a bunch of people who were trying to transcend what they're capable of as individuals and make something that is stranger and better than they could come up with alone. And I think that's what Hello Games are trying to do with No Man's Sky as well. People have asked me more recently, how did you get all that sound design and make a record of it? And that's the reverse. We did the reverse. We made the record. We used all that and put all that into the game and, and added to it. So like, rather than trying a sort of one-size-fits-all soundtrack that was a bit soundscapey, it was a clearly separated, here's a record and it's going to stand up as a record in its own right, and then here's the, here's the game soundtrack. Sean and and all of them haven't compromised on the, on the original idea of what they were trying to do, and they certainly haven't asked us to be anything that we aren't. And so we're just really glad to have been part of something that's felt creative, even when it was difficult. Yeah.